In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God. Today is Sunday, the 8th of November, 2020. You are listening to Catholic Meditation, broadcasting over Radio Evangelium of the Diocese of Kumba, Cameroon. I am Father Blessed Amba Njume. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 6, verses 12 to 16. Wisdom is bright and does not grow dim. By those who love her, she is readily seen and found by those who look for her. Quick to anticipate those who desire her, she makes herself known to them. Watch for her early, and you will have no trouble. You will find her sitting at your gates. Even to think about her is understanding fully grown. Be on the alert for her, and anxiety will quickly leave you. She herself walks about looking for those who are worthy of her and graciously shows herself to them as they go in every thought of theirs coming to meet them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to our psalm is, For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry weary land without water. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out and command the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise. And then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. 
so we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Je le Seigneur. Je vais louer le Seigneur tant que je vis. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten maidens who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then, all those maidens rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. Afterward, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, open the door to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. and vigilant as you wait for Jesus' return. Be wise and vigilant as you wait for Jesus' return. Dear friends in Christ, Today is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. As we draw close to the end of the church year, two weeks left, the church is also drawing our attention to the eschatological dimension of our lives. Not only should we be concerned and prepared for the end of the church year or the end of the calendar year, we should also be concerned and prepare for the end of our earthly lives, the end of time, the end of the world. The readings for today's liturgy present a church that is waiting for her spouse, the coming of the Lord. To prepare for his coming, we need to be vigilant, and this vigilance is the mark of the truly wise. Because while the foolish think they have time 
and go on enjoying life, they get caught up on prepared and off guard. But the wise are vigilant and always ready. In today's second reading, St. Paul reminds the Thessalonians that the Lord will sure come. He himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. We all shall rise to the clouds to meet our God, and we shall always be with God. Beloved of God, our hearts are restless till they rest in God. This world is not our home, and so we should long for our reunion with God, that heavenly home. Today's psalm explains the hunger and thirst that our souls have to unite with God. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. Our soul's desire is to meet God, and our souls will never be at peace till they are with God. That is what God made us for, to be with Him forever in heaven. To meet God is not just sitting and waiting. We have to be vigilant. Vigilance is what wise souls do. Because the day, the place, and time of our reunion with God are not known. Wisdom is therefore essential in this preparation. Today's first reading from the Book of Wisdom invites us to acquire this wisdom that will enable us to be vigilant. The foolish go on enjoying life, thinking life ends here. But the wise, who have wisdom, are very vigilant. They know that someday life will come to an end, and so they are always ready, waiting for the Master's return. Today's Gospel presents some five wise virgins who were vigilant in waiting for their master's return. They had wisdom as presented to us in today's first reading because they were aware and conscious as presented to us in today's second reading that the Lord will sure come. They had wisdom. They took along their flasks of oil, extra oil, so that they could keep their lamps burning. Dear friends, at baptism, each one of us was given that lamp when the priest entrusted to us a burning candle and he told us to keep that candle burning brightly until the Lord returns. This is the wisdom of the wise that they keep their lamps burning brightly. And how can we do so? How can we be like the five wise virgins? Dear friends, go to the sacrament of confession. Reconcile yourself with God and with your neighbor. Receive the sacraments in church. Holy communion Keep God's laws, keep the laws of the church, and I tell you, you will be a wise virgin. When the master comes, even at the time you do not expect, he will find you ready because you are a wise virgin. But if you are foolish and you go on enjoying life like one game, thinking you have time, oh, how the master's coming will meet you when you least expect and when you are not ready. The cash word for today, therefore, is for us to be wise and to be vigilant as we wait for the Lord's coming. As we begin this new week, let us beg God for that grace that we may be wise. The book of wisdom says, and a psalm, teach us, Lord, the shortness of our lives that we may gain wisdom of heart. Dear friends, life is short and death is near. Let us be wise and vigilant so that the Lord's coming will not find us unprepared. Amen. Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed, we wish each and every one of you a very happy Sunday. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.